Okay, hi everyone. So uh, today I have a very special treat for you. So I have Gavin and uh, Jane here to share with you a bit more about their journey on how they uh, made their money and wealth uh, online. So uh, welcome Jane and Gavin. Hey! hey. 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 <laughs> so uh, maybe you, but just want to start off with just sharing a bit about your story and how do you get to where you are today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, Jane first? Okay, so I started uh, a, this thing called affiliate marketing. Uh, during 2013, all right. I've been doing it five years now. So over the course of five years, uh, together we've generated more than like a million dollars from the internet alone. Yeah. So this is, uh, is a very very lucrative business. Uh. Yeah. So first of all, thanks Mark, uh, for inviting uh Inboxing Out Academy yeah. onto the show, <laughs> right? And uh, we'd like to congratulate Mark on all his recent success as well. Yeah. <laughs> super super awesome so you guys better start following Mark right? uh, so obviously my name is Gavin I started uh, internet marketing in 2012 uh, when I first started internet marketing I was actually in the public service so uh, it's a little bit of moonlighting la. now I'm out with this so I better say <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit of moonlighting and uh, about around 2013 2014 I achieved the height of uh, my success back then because mm. I even had my own products being launched online. Mm. My highest record for sales per day, not anything fantastic, but my highest record of sales per day was about 15,000 mm. uh, USD. But that was like one time, like one time, mm. okay? Uh, but after that, uh, because of the whatever was happening when I was still in my previous uh, public service job, I decided mm. to stop everything. I gave up everything. And only in late 2016, I restarted my internet marketing journey. And uh, together with uh, Gene, mm. uh, I met him and we decided to then form uh, Inbox Income Academy mm. together to actually serve and help more people mm. achieve uh, internet, uh, what we call success, mm. right? Because uh, we really believe that uh, internet marketing or affiliate marketing, email marketing, that's what we do. Mm. It's something that everyone can do. Mm. Uh, it's easily achievable, but you mm. just need time, effort and money to do it. Mm. Yeah. And we just want to help as many people as we can to get out of the rat right race. Mm. Mm. And uh, the reason why we formed Inbox Income Academy is because uh, we realized something that is lacking in the industry, mm. which is that uh, a lot of time you go for courses, there's yeah. a lack of support mm. after the course. Mm. And we really wanted to resolve that issue, mm. which is why Inbox Income Academy was founded. Mm. Yeah. 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 So yeah, so I really agree that there are a lot of courses out there, whether it's uh, even like live courses or online courses, that mm. uh, they don't provide as much support, but actually that's a key thing that actually a lot of participants are required with support from and perspective from like the trainers and all and uh which actually can get them to success right mm. so uh, so anyway uh, so gavin shared a bit about uh, his story but jin about uh, how oh, do you okay. get started in the whole internet marketing space yourself? so yeah. oh yeah so uh for myself right i started this way back i mean i i i stumbled upon this thing called the four hour work week after reading this book by Tim ferris uh so I was very fascinated by the idea that any person can just work four hours a week and <laughs> and just enjoy the rest of the week doing nothing or doing anything that he liked, right? So and then uh, I get involved in yeah, internet marketing in, during the age of uh, 25, I think it's during 2008. So at that time I didn't get any success. <laughs> yeah, so I just uh, do here and there until the year 2013, I get very, very serious about it. Yeah, as, as I tell myself that I need to make this work. So the reason why I need to make this work because I realized I I am I'm stuck in a nine to five job and mm -hmm. my my parents my parents they are working at the retail. So I, I come from a retail background. So I was born in Malaysia. So I I work worse than nine to five. I actually work uh, retail. I said, Hey hi, do you wanna buy clothes? You know, I, I, I work as a retail assistant. Then at the year my mom actually gave me a call. Okay, one, one night she actually called me, I can never forget, right? She told me that she, uh, she's, she suffered a lot because she got bullied by a colleague and then her leg is very, very painful because she's there for long hours. Then I said that I must change this. That's why I said to myself that I must make internet marketing work for me. So I go all the way. I, like Gavin mentioned, I spent a lot of time, money and effort into making this affiliate marketing work for me. Right, yeah, so so that's how I got started and now looking back, that's the best decision that I made. Mm, okay, yeah, so so thanks for sharing. So I think really like uh, initially you 
tried a bit of internet marketing but yeah. didn't but then after that something happened that really made you like yes I have to succeed in this because there was a big uh, desire there was a big why yeah. which got you to uh, where, where, where you are today so yeah. that, that, thanks for sharing your story so I think uh, so I guess over the time you have attended many courses uh, within both of you you have already at the same time you have taught a lot of uh, students as well mm -hmm. so I guess um, based on your own experiences right mm -hmm. between the students that uh, achieve the highest level of successes or the, the ones that reach their level of success the fastest mm -hmm. versus those that might be a bit slower but a bit average right mm -hmm. or the results they achieve are a bit medical mm -hmm. what are the key uh, differences you see between these two profile of uh, students uh, at least in your own observations uh, and uh, what you see yeah mm, well that's uh, actually a very difficult question <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if i were to think back on the students that we have um i think uh, number one is uh, it's about having clarity. Mm. Mm. Number one is about having clarity because I think success, uh, I share this in all our classes, in our previews, mm. masterclass, in our actual course itself, mm. that you no know, success is uh, relative and success mm. is actually subjective as well. Mm. Because everyone has different definitions of success. Yeah. Yeah, mm. right? everyone, I think we have to agree that everyone don't view success the same. Mm. Some people might view success as having $1 million. Yeah. Mm. In, in the bank account. Mm. Some people might view success as uh, being able to, to to retire their parents. Mm. Some people might might even think that you know having an extra five hundred dollars a month to pay off my electricity bill mm. is, is already success in mm. that regard. So I, I guess the first thing that you really need to do mm. is to have clarity in your goals. Okay. Mm. So that you know exactly what is your definition of that success mm. in that sense. Mm. And then once you have that already something that else we share is uh is a process of what we call reverse engineering. Okay. So mm. once you know uh, what is your definition of success, then mm. you can work backwards and then mm. know exactly what you need to do in mm. order to reach mm. that success. Mm. Right? So clarity is the first thing that you need to have. Mm. Right? And then once you have clarity, the second thing that you need to do is to uh, have the uh, breakdown, to do reverse engineering, to break down mm. your rules. Mm. And number three is then uh, what this guy is an expert in. Mm. Right? <laughs> it's about implementing. Mm. Because we can talk for all we want. Right? Mm. We can be talking until you know, uh, from sunrise to sunset, you mm. can be talking for hours uh, and on, but if you have all these things work out with you, you have clarity, if you, have, mm. you break down the baby steps, but yet at the end of it, you don't take any action towards achieving that steps, mm. uh, towards that goal, then you are never going to be able to achieve success. So mm. the biggest thing that we see between our students, who those mm. who have success mm. and those who don't have success is mm. fundamentally about taking action because mm. What we share is, is a blueprint. Mm. What we share is a system. Mm. If you work it correctly, mm. yep. together with our guidance, of course, mm. uh, we can almost say that all our students will see success in one form or another. Mm. That's right. But if you don't do anything, there's no way success is going to come yeah. to you. Yeah. yeah, so I guess uh, the biggest difference that I see is about taking action. Yeah, yeah. So, so I guess a uh, key strategy is really like a first one to really have know what you want in the first place mm. and then to work backwards to uh, find how you can achieve your goals. And then I think the next one is really making time to take the action in the first place, right? Yeah, because info right. can be there, I can give you what to do, but if you yes. don't do it, then you won't be able to achieve that. Yeah. yeah. Any, anything else to add, Jin? Yeah. yeah, okay. So for me, right, uh, I just want to con congrats one of uh, our peers who took to massive action that quit her job and then make this a successful full-time a dream come true so i'm going to share from her perspective yeah uh, the reason why i see she can succeed even though everyone has greater result than her prior but she's the one who made it so i just want to share another point of view like what gavin shared is very very important mm. you need to have clarity on what you want mm. so but again we human being, right, where there are two parts of the brain. Mm. First is the logical mind. Yep. Then the other one is the emotional mind. Mm. So a lot of times, right, I see those people who really, really succeed in what they do, mm. including myself, mm. is because they have the pain. Okay. They, there's a pain that's burning. There's a fire that's burning behind them mm. that they say, I tell you what, no matter what, I must make this happen for me. Mm. It's the drive behind that makes them succeed because mm. the thing is <clears throat> when whenever whenever you put a gun to your head right and you say mm. that you must make things work for you a lot of times it, it comes true mm. Mm. so <clears throat> it's, it's very important for you to have a pain a very very not not say you must find a pain to, <laughs> to, to make yourself but yeah. you, you must know what is the thing that you hate the most and mm. 
and the reason why the the reason why you want it so badly to make this a yes for yourself mm. then those are the students right they are very very attentive they are very very initiative they will do everything they can it's like mm. even before we share them something right they say oh i did this already i said wow oh okay <laughs> wow i was like wow you were wow very good eh? mm. so that's the thing that i see the the difference mm. because I still remember uh, there, are, there are days that uh, she actually cried and said her, her result was not as good as her, her peers. Mm. But the thing is, she made it because mm. she has the pain inside her mm. that she must make this a, succe- uh, mm. a success for her. Mm. Yeah, so really the burning desire yeah. that you really have to succeed no matter what and you're doing yeah. whatever it takes uh, to reach there. I think it's really important because I think a lot of people that I see like as successful and uh, doing what they want is because it all started off with a burning big desire yes. rather than just um, like people that are just trying to dabble or not knowing uh, how, what they really want. Uh, so I think those, those are uh, great lessons. So I guess uh, in your experience, so because you have been, uh, you're in the affiliate marketing space, right? What do you think are uh, maybe some of the misconceptions or um, what are the things that people think about the free marketing that you find that actually might not be so accurate that you might want to share with some audience uh, to just uh, give them a bit of a perspective from at least from your uh, point of view? Yeah. Quite a fair bit actually. <laughs> Quite a fair bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I guess the biggest misconception in uh, a mm. lot of things that we do is that mm. the biggest misconception that we get is mm. people think that internet marketing is a get rich quick scheme. Okay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I guess this applies to a lot of courses out there. Yeah. <laughs> but just to, 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 to backtrack a little bit, right? I think to the previous question, there's really a lot of qualities that mm. we, we need in order to be successful. Mm. Um, and there's really a lot of avenues to be successful in order, I mean, specifically to, to make money online. Mm. Mm. There's, you can do internet marketing, email marketing, Australian yep. marketing, mm. e-commerce, dropshipping, whatever. Even there's so other many other avenues to make money. Like you yourself mm. is an expert in investing, mm. yep. right? Value mm. investing. Yep. Get make money through properties. There's really so many ways. There's just so many different avenues to mm. to make money. But I guess it's really what is your poison, and then uh, overarching what is required. One of the biggest uh, attributes that I feel that we need that we didn't mention earlier mm. was actually discipline. Yeah, mm. yeah mm. discipline like. Like for example, Jin talked about the pain, right? Pain yeah. is the one that pushes you forward. Yeah. Then my question is, what what happens after you lose the pain? Mm. I see. Okay. Are you going to stop right. doing what mm. you're doing that, that led you to become successful? It's not. Then, then people talk about motivation. Mm. Honestly, to me, uh, we, we share this in one of our live videos. As well. we, we, I actually said this, uh, motivation is crap. Right? Okay. <laughs> but motivation will get you uh, started, mm. but motivation is not going to get you across the finishing line. Yeah. Mm. What is going to get you across the finishing line is actually discipline. Mm. Right? Mm. We might be making money now, we might be uh, successful in our own right, mm. but it doesn't mean that we, we stop working, right? We yep. are still continuing to contribute, mm. we are continuing to, to add value to ourselves, we are continuously learning, mm. right? Mm. But it takes discipline to continue that. We could easily just say that you want to go out lie on the beach every single day right mm. now, or you can travel around the world and yeah. do whatever mm. is required, but it's not about that, it's about having that discipline mm. to know that in in order to stay relevant, in mm. order to stay at the top of the game, we need to be disciplined to continuously improve mm. ourselves. Yep. So I think discipline is one of the biggest attribute mm. that uh, anyone might need. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so we have to jump back to, to what you were asking yeah. earlier, which is uh, misconceptions that people uh, have. Misconceptions. Yeah. So the biggest misconception is that it's a get rich quick scheme. <clears> so uh we, we mentioned this earlier in the video. Uh, we do, this is definitely not a Gary Street scheme or mm. internet marketing. Mm. Uh, there's been a lot of instances where you can make a little bit of money here and there mm. very quick, fairly quickly. Uh, that is something that is definitely achievable. Mm. But in order to build a long lasting business, right, you require what we call the EMT. You need require effort, money, and time. Okay. Right? In, in everything that we do, we need effort. Right? Even now, uh, you watching this video. Right, it requires you to spend the effort to actually play this video, to, to spend the amount of time to, to watch it, mm. right? You need money, right? If you have money, how do you get your phone? How do you get your data connection? How do you get all these things? Yeah. Right? But beyond that, uh, any business, uh, we believe, requires time to grow. Mm. And uh, in the words of uh, value investing, right? Mm. Compounding is the greatest effect, mm. right? <laughs> in, in on earth, mm. right? You need time in order to compound a business as well. You need to reinvest your earning and let it compound and grow. Your businesses then will grow bigger and bigger. Mm. So by no means, uh, what we are sharing, uh, Inbox Income Academy is sharing, is a get rich quick scheme. Mm-hmm. We are definitely not uh, yeah, that's right. proponents mm-hmm. of that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 
and also the second biggest misconception uh, thing about internet marketing in general because web <clears throat> is I've been hearing this a lot a lot of time wow I need to learn internet marketing that means I need to be very good at coding I need to know how to write the script mm. and all those things and that, no <laughs> no <laughs> I don't do any of that in fact uh, Jack Ma the richest man in China I don't know if he's in the world <laughs> yeah. but I don't know no, I think Jack Bezos Right, oh, even Jeff Bezos. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, even Jeff Bezos, Amazon, right? He don't write his own code. It's about marketing. It's not about writing the best code. In, even in fact, you if, if you ask me and Gavin, right, we don't write our own a single thing or, or anything fancy to make our software or, or anything work in the internet. Alright. Now it's it's never better time or moment for you to start marketing online. Mm. Yeah. Now, as long as you have a phone, you can start marketing online already. <laughs> yeah, you see, just uh, for example, Mark, he, did, mm. he didn't, he's the, the best example <laughs> of affiliate marketing. He don't own a product. Mm. He never spent a single cent on ads. Mm. He made 50000 by promoting something that he don't own. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah. So congrats to him again, right? Uh, yeah. So even, you are looking for someone to give you a trip, you know uh, who to look for. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you did you code anything online? Huh? Did you write your own script or anything? No, no code. No, I, I don't like coding. Yeah, yeah. yeah you use good. Facebook, right? Yeah, Facebook. Did you write a code on Facebook? No, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, but all words, all words. <laughs> but it's like what I think Jean has mentioned earlier. Like, if you ask me eight years ago when I first started out in this business, it was it was tough. Like, I really, I literally had to start coding my own website mm. and stuff because at that time, I think the technology wasn't that yet so yeah. we're being one of the forerunners in, in doing this kind of thing we really had to write our own quotes and thing and mm. i'm bad at it man to just have a single page with a few lines mm. it take me days to just code it because i <laughs> suck at it okay yeah. but mm. i went through that stage but today we can actually build a website uh, within uh, a few a few minutes mm. it's as simple as that all you have to do is uh, drag and drop be common people will probably heard uh, things like no Wix.com, right? Mm. Wix.com is one platform that yeah. allows you to drag and drop and create a website very easily. Yep. Yep. Uh, what we use now, uh, we use, uh, of course, WordPress and ClickFunnels and a little bit more advanced. Ultra, part. Mm. anything. Yep. It, essentially, it's the same thing. So really, it's, now is the best time to be able to get onto this game. Mm. Uh, it's so easy, it's so intuitive, and that is exactly what we do in our own program as well. Mm. So rather than having people to spend four to six months to mm. actually create their own website, to, to have their own, uh, books, yeah. their own funnel, funnel being like the whole sales process mm -hmm. uh, for those who are not uh, particularly mm -hmm. aware of the word, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, we actually help our students and clients. Uh, we actually, we call them our partners because mm -hmm. it's, it's a, in this journey, we don't believe uh, in competition. We yeah, believe okay. we all can do mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So our partners, we help them. Within two days, they have everything ready and they have a business online. Mm -hmm. Like it can, it's done within two days rather than having to spend that many months to go ahead. So really, mm -hmm. Uh, like what James mentioned, now it's no longer about having, you don't need those technical knowledge anymore. Mm. We have students or partners who are 60 over years old, yep. have mm. no idea what the hell even a laptop is, mm. come in, have his business launch too late, and yep. now making oh, wow. a laptop every single month. Yep. Mm. Right, so don't be, hesitant. don't be hesitant. And again, I guess it's about mindset. So if yep. you want it, you will go out there <laughs> and you will get it. You will learn. Yeah, yeah you'll you make it happen. You'll make uh, it happen. Yeah. So, but now making it happen is so easy. Yeah. 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 So I think, yeah, I definitely agree. Like, uh, if I were to do whatever you're doing, like 10, 20 years ago, I think I would never be able to do because of all the coding. Uh, it's something I hate and also yeah. I think, yeah, I think a lot of people do have some misconception of affiliate marketing, but I think now in this age, it's a lot easier, uh, to start doing what you really want to, uh, to do. Okay. So, uh, so I think I'm yeah, moving on to like, so my last question, my favorite question, right? Is, uh, so let's say now, um, uh, with everything you have, you have to let it go. Uh, you have to start everything from scratch. So you lost all your money, all your resources, all your networks, all your reputation, right? But you're brought to somewhere, oh, there's still internet. Uh, you still have to worry about your food and all. Uh, what would you want to do from day zero to day 30? Mm. To not only to get back to where you are, mm. uh, but even uh, beyond where you are uh, today. So like, what would you do from all the way from day zero to day 30 to achieve that level of success that you're having uh, now again? Okay, so for myself, right, if let's say touch wood, uh, okay, <laughs> touch wood, yeah. let's make sure this is good. <laughs> if I lost everything today, yeah. okay, so what I lost is the material material thing or the achievement that I got. But the thing is, the knowledge and the technicalities of how to do things is still with me, mm. right? You can take away anything from me, but as long as I know how to play the game, I 
can make it happen. Mm-hmm. So let me show you a few. So w- once I have internet collection, uh, what I will do is I will go and do market research. I'll go and find out the, the market that I want to serve and see what is their biggest pain. Mm-hmm. Right? Because business is all about creating solution for a problem. Mm-hmm. Right? So long you can solve a problem, you can create a business. Just as simple as a cup, right? Uh, what does a cup solve? A su- cup actually solves a lot of things. It helps you hold your drink. Right? Simple as that. This is an example of solving a client's mm-hmm. problem. So what I will do, I'll do market research to find out what uh, the biggest pain of the market, right? And then from there, I will go and create an offer. Okay, I'm going to research and find out solution that can help them uh, solve their problem. And then I'll create an offer and then I will market it to them. Yeah. So, so, uh, so once I do that, right, I, I have the confidence that I can make back whatever they have lost. Okay. So yeah, so I guess really like, First, don't just find anything to sell, but yeah. ready to do your research and find out what's the problem yeah. that uh, what you think like whoever you're trying to serve uh, yeah. can solve. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's great. Yeah, uh, now Gavin, anything to add or any like if you have you have your difference in strategy or action points? Well, okay. So, <laughs> so let me put it in a different perspective. Mm. Uh, if if it's me, right? Mm. Your, your question is if I lost everything to yeah. you, what would I do? Yeah, I think. If I lost everything that is of uh, everything materialistic, right? I have, but I don't lose like what Jim mentioned. I don't lose my character. Mm. I don't lose my my knowledge. Yeah. Mm. So, so in order for me to get started in anything first, I think mm. I'd be very realistic. If I think about it, I I first need money. Mm. So what I will first do is to find a job. Okay. Mm. I'll be very honest, right? I, I think it's a very non coach or atypical. <laughs> so the first thing I do is I'll find a job. Mm. And uh, I think finding a job is not difficult. Mm. It's, yeah. a, it's about managing expectations. Mm. But yeah. the reason why I need to find that job for a while quickly is because I need to have income. Mm. Mm. Right? I need to have income because with money coming in, then I could then step off to restart whatever I've lost. Mm. Mm. So, for example, I have good knowledge in email marketing, affiliate marketing. Mm. I, I need. I know how to generate income from there. Mm. So if let's say I can immediately find a part-time job mm. or some uh, or full-time job that pays me on a, perhaps a weekly or daily mm. basis, after my first year, apparently I get a few couple of uh, thousand dollars. Okay. Right. That income will then enable me to help me build my resources online mm. again. I can get my own website done. I can get my own domain done. Mm. I can start building my list and then start marketing products. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, adding on to whatever uh, Jin was saying, mm. right? Mm. So if I work from nine to five. Uh, every single day, mm. right? Then is that at five o'clock? I'm not gonna be resting. <laughs> but again, I think it brings back to what we mentioned earlier. That is about discipline, about that greed and character mm. that is gonna come in already. Mm. Then from five to to eleven to twelve, maybe even mm. you know, then I'll be working hard on my business. You no, know, doing the market research, mm. doing everything, building my website, building mm. up my list. Yeah, right. And then I will just keep doing that. Uh, to really. Uh, then, uh, bring my business mm. back yeah. back on track. Okay. So I just have to keep doing that and I'm pretty sure uh, I won't say in 30 days I'm going to get success because yeah. I don't believe in is that <laughs> saying that yeah, it's not a get rich quick Steve and right. if you are telling you what we are saying now will achieve success in 30 days then you'll go out there and do it already, right? <laughs> <laughs> but then you'll come back and say <laughs> hey whatever you share didn't work you know? yeah. but, but it's not okay so I don't think it's going to be a 30 days uh, get rich quick thing but my plan would, would be that simple right? Mm-hmm. Get a job pays me and then I'm gonna reinvest my, my earnings. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna reinvest or whatever I could spare into my business. Mm. So that because I know businesses the why businesses is so powerful is what businesses compound their earnings. Mm. Right? And then thirty it's not gonna be thirty days, but perhaps six months down the road, one year down the road, mm. I will probably be able to get back into a comfortable income mm. where then I could uh, probably decide if I want to quit my job and focus fully to mm. work on my business even more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so that would be my, my course of action. Yeah, because yeah. Exact, because this is a very interesting story, uh, if I could share more, because mm. this is exactly what I've done. Mm. This is exactly what I have done uh, when I left my corporate job. Mm. Uh, so I was in a public service. I left uh, in 2016, mm. September, right? Uh, after that, I was in corporate for about three months. I was mm. director of sales, but I didn't like what I was doing. Mm-hmm. And then I left my, my job. So when I left my job, technically, I I gave up everything, yeah. right? I was... I was unemployed, I was jobless and everything. And that was actually the time when I asked myself, what should I do again to get myself back on mm. feet? So mm. that was the exact question mm. I asked myself, what should mm. I do? Mm. And then I told myself that oh, I used to be able to be very successful in email marketing. Why mm. don't I do it again on, on, on online marketing? 
So uh, that's when I restarted my business and then I mm. achieved my, uh, within a period of uh, three months, mm. I managed to create an income of uh, at least 3,000 USD okay. per month, mm. right? which is already pretty decent, yeah, more yeah. than uh, perhaps yeah. what some people might be earning mm. per month. But mm. that was just purely online, which mm. I spent no more than half an hour a day mm. in getting. <laughs> so that is like what? 3,000 SGD is about, four, about 5K, five, la, yeah, four, four, five, four, yeah. 5K uh, SGD, mm. right? That was what I was getting really. and then luckily at the point of time I met uh, this gentleman here and we decided to find mm. to create Inbox Income Academy together mm. because we wanted to help serve more people because if I could do it right without anything mm. uh, you can do it too it's a matter of having the grit and discipline to, to make it work mm. yeah so that's a great story because I think um, like I think some of you might be watching this because you are still in your uh, usual nine to six, nine to five job, and you're thinking of how else can you do to create more income. Mm. So, uh, so we're not telling you to quit your job uh, yeah. right away, but actually do things that are like discipline rather yeah. than resting or let's say maybe skipping that night of drinks with your friends. You can actually yeah. start building up your online businesses yeah. or anything else uh, you want to do. Yeah. All right. So yeah, thanks for the wonderful interview. So any last uh, last words for uh, the audience, my audience here, and uh, and and how can they find you uh, if they want to find out more about what you guys are doing? Uh, if you can add, add me and Gavin as friend. Yeah. Yeah. Then we can. Okay. Things awesome. I'll share the link. I'll share the link in the comments. Yeah, but means we can here. add yeah. us on Facebook. So mm. uh, just search for Gavin Sin mm. or Jean Ng King Wee, or mm. just go to our Facebook page, uh, Inbox <coughs> Income Academy. Mm. Uh, like us there as well. Then you definitely can find our contacts there. Mm. Uh, but I think the last words that I'd like to mm. pass on to the viewers of uh, Mark no. uh, who are watching his show is that, you know, Mark is an excellent guy. He's the master implementer, <laughs> right? So he's the guy who really knows how to take action. Mm in whatever that you need to do in order to achieve success and really i think again bringing back to a point that i mentioned earlier there's many avenues to success and all you have to do really is to have that discipline and to take consistent action in order to achieve that success so regardless of what you are doing what you intend to do you can be successful mm. it's about having discipline and taking consistent action mm. so yeah. good luck to everyone who is watching this mm. uh, we wish you all the very best in everything that you do and all the success will probably come your way mm. just remember yeah. discipline and consistent action will help you together all right good. thanks yep. thanks for a great interview yeah so see you see you around there yeah right man bye bye <laughs>